Hello everyone, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in X4 Foundations. So I wanted to show you a uh, uh, equipment dock repair or a re space station repair, and, but I have another uh, uh, mission, another mine clearing mission. So I'm going to go ahead and do the mine clearing mission, and then we're going to go over and do the uh, uh, station repair. So let me get this changed up here. And uh, let's get my missions. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is the one we want to set to active. All right, let's cruise on over. It's supposed to be hard. Yeah. But as you saw in the other one, if you watched the other one, uh, Requesting permission to dock. Dock it wasn't permission too granted. bad. This is actually around a space station. So they're a little more of a difficult task. Uh, you just got to be careful that you don't want to uh, shoot into the station itself. And I think that's kind of the challenge behind it. So we'll go ahead and get this one done and go over and do a uh, station repair. And uh, we should, uh, as we're doing this, we should see some income coming in from our uh, uh, mining ship that we got uh, set and going. And we'll we'll take a look at it here a little bit uh, once we get this. Uh, oh, there's a Xeon. Hopefully, it's not going to be a problem. Get in the way. Let's slow her down here a little bit. And start pulling in. As is my custom, I'm going to save right here. That way it should be good. All right. So, looks like, well, looks like there's one there. Let's uh, kind of come in from below. That way we can uh, make sure we're not shooting into the station. down a little bit let's kind of come up a little bit so we can there we go I think that that should be good all right let's uh, go up a little bit so we can all right there we go that Fine. should that should be a good clean shot there we go. Now we can uh, come up and get this one. All right, zoom in on it. Okay, next one looks like that one. Looks like the scale plate <clears throat> is uh, <clears throat> what uh, set these mines out here. There we go, that's out of the way. Yeah, probably that one, yep. Pirates, damn pirates. They get to be a bit of the pain in the rear end as we uh, get going a little farther into here. But again, these are pretty easy money to get yourself established into the game. 
There's one below us too that we still have to get. But let's go ahead and take this one out. Mine. Okay. Go. Mine. And probably should be this one. There we go. Mine. And a couple of more. Oh, yeah, there's one over there and then one down there. So, all right, I guess we're going to get this one up here first. get our last one I think oh if we can let's see if we can get that uh, illegal drone we'll do the mine get this mine out of the way first though was $190,000 uh, there and 190,000 credits. All right, so these drones ship a. is like a criminal faction. So if you can, oh, he just disappeared on us. Anyway, that helps you get uh, reputation with uh, whatever faction is uh, there at the station. Uh, plus a little bit of credits, but the reputation is probably more more important on that. So the other thing, let's see. Uh, let's quit spinning this around too much. The other thing I want to do while I'm here is go ahead and uh, let's orientate myself here. I think, there we go. All right, I want to throw out a satellite. So we'll kind of just cruise down here a little bit. I don't like to put it too close or right in next to the station. Uh, if you're doing some trading and stuff, that becomes a pain in the butt. All right, we should be good. We'll go ahead and throw a mine out or a satellite out here. And that just helps kind of continue to build the network. So we got that covered. Uh, although I should have, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, nah. let's, uh, Go ahead and uh, set a guidance to that. We'll drop off a satellite there. On our way back to uh, the station we gotta repair. So that's why I always carry, I try to carry uh, 20 to 30 satellites with me whenever I'm traveling out and about. Uh, that way I can deploy them and then it helps build up your satellite network. So when you do get your traders going, you have, uh, uh, you're already starting to get your network built up. I always try to put it within 20, i not sure the exact, oh, there we go. We just got a uh, uh, payment from our, uh, mine driller so that was 28,000 credits so we're off and doing pretty good on that so that's going to help build up the uh, bank account uh, let's drop a satellite here 
and uh, there we go so yeah we got uh, that uh, we can go ahead and stop the guidance and I got a satellite there let's go ahead and drop one here and then I think this is the I got it's the equipment dock that I've got to do the repairs on so let's go ahead and start that guidance So again, I think the satellite range is, well, I, I use 25 kilometers, so if I can, if I've got two stations that are within 25 or 50 kilometers or a little less, then I try to place a satellite in between them, so that kind of gives me coverage for both those stations and only having to use one satellite. Oh, goodness. Looks like Xeons. Eh, we'll leave them be for now. I'll get some dogfights in here. Uh, uh, coming up. Alright, let's go ahead and deploy a satellite here that map fragile salvage let's see what we got here that's another destroy the mines out oh, if it's still there after we get done I'll pick it up and do it uh, but we're not going to do it now all right so let's go ahead and bring up our mission get it active uh, missions uh, set to active there we go all right Kind of the challenge on these uh, repair is sometimes, and this is where the game might be just a touch buggy, the repairs aren't always visible. So if you're trying to repair it, even though you kind of get it located, you're not right where it uh, should be to be able to do the repair. So. All right, let's slow this thing down a little bit. And let's orientate ourselves. So we should have... We should have some, uh, maybe it's just the one this time. And the other thing I like to do is go ahead and put this into scanning range since I'm going to be kind of cruising around the station. Hopefully this leak's going to be fairly visible that we can see it. Oh yeah, I think I see it already. That's good. You'll start hearing it as we get closer to it too. And you can kind of see it right there. Now we got to go uh, uh, outside the vehicle on this, so EVA. There we go, we can start to hear it. 
I always like to get to within about uh, about a hundred uh, meters. All right. So I get up. Discoverer Vanguard. Get in our spacesuit. And here we go. The other thing I like to do while I'm out here is go and make sure I got my scanner on out here as well. So hopefully that's not going to be too noisy. I want to make sure I'm scanning just in case we somehow get lucky enough to uh, get a blueprint. Okay, getting a little fast, slow her down a little bit. Too much. There we go. Let's get her going. Usually, once you're within 25 meters, then you can. Uh... All right. So we should be able to repair this. There we go. And that was 126,000 credits. All right. Let's back up a little bit. Not too fast. Uh, we'll turn around so that we can get back in our ship. There we go. Got to request permission to dock. Docking granted. I've also found that you don't actually, as long as you get close, captain's seat and of course I'm going to save after that all right kind of back off out of here and uh, let's check something here Oh, there's satellite repair work, too. Let's go ahead and grab that. Those are pretty easy to do. Requesting and it's to basically the same thing. I knew I could count on you. There we go. We'll do the satellite repair, and then uh, that'll probably about do it. this into travel mode. Once we get there and do the satellite repair, which is basically the same thing except uh, you don't really have to scan it or anything like that. So 
So we got to repair it to 100%. Oh, looks like it's uh, over here next to a... Uh, looks like an inactive jump gate is probably what this is. So... So I suspect these inactive jump gates are going to hopefully be part of uh, additional content, additional DLC that uh, they'll be creating to add on additional uh, portions to the galaxy. So. Starting to close in on it, there we go. I like to pull in within about 80 or so. Oop. Yeah, that's good. There we go. That's good. All right. Let's go ahead and get up. Okay, you got Hello. Got the comm number 1. All right. And these are this is these are easy missions to do so and again it's a great way to uh, really uh, boost your income again as as you start getting drilling uh, uh, vessels and stuff like that it's not really necessary to have to do too many of these but in the beginning it really helps to uh, get some income. Ah, more money coming in. One thing too, with the uh, drilling, wherever they're doing trade with, all right, let's start slowing down a little bit. Oh, no, no, forward, forward. Ah, uh, dang it. Come up a little bit. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. There we go. Easy money. Easy money. Let's turn around, get back in the ship. Where's the ship at? Where did it go? Where's my ship? Here it is up here. There we go. Let's get straightened out here. Come on, let's get going forward. Let's not run into the satellite. Okay. One thing I learned in the beginning was uh, Docking granted. you you want to just do you don't want to get going too fast. I use my mouse wheel; it helps, but I don't like to get going much faster than one or two, especially around here. Otherwise, you you start bouncing around all over the place. up come cruising in I better slow her down a little bit there we go all right oh 
Okay. And we're back on board. Hello. Hello. All right. Let's hit F5. One of the things that I hope they uh, change or they, they added in an update is uh, how much your vessels are making for you. So you can track your vessels. So here's your list of uh, uh, ships and, and stations that you'll end up owning. Uh, right now I've got the Discover Vanguard and then the Drill Vanguard number one. And they're currently in second contact. So you can uh, look at the information on it. It gives you quite a bit of information, except it really doesn't tell you how much they've made for you. Uh, but I can, you, you can see the amount of income that's coming up. I think when I last, the last video, we uh, bought the uh, drill, and I think we were somewhere around 500,000. So just between uh, the uh, drill mining and some of the missions I've done, we're back up to 1.3. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So, that is the uh, Drill Vanguard. And I did show you when I set it up that this is what he's mining, all of that. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. We got to see uh, uh, satellite repair, another mine clearing. Uh, deploying some satellites and, and a station repair. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos uh, and uh, please hit that thumbs up if you uh, are enjoying them. Also, feel free to leave comments. Uh, always uh, interested to see what you think of X4 and if you're playing it, that sort of thing. So, with that, uh, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.